Hey guys, it's your girl Portia on the journey back with another like that video. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I've been facing the most difficult thing after the most difficult thing when it comes to editing my videos and also uploading my videos. So again, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. If you're just getting here, if you were able to click on the video, please hit the like button. Make sure that you comment. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And... If you're not ready to subscribe and you just want to view right now because you want to wait to get to know me and see if you actually want to subscribe, I can totally understand that. But make sure that you hit the like button so that I can know that you're here. Also, I want to find a name for my viewers and my subscribers. I'm tired of saying you guys and it's much more than just a you guys to me. It's so much more than that. Um, I wake up every single day trying to figure out what can I bring to the table for my channel. Um, you guys inspire, inspire me. You're the reason that I'm still on my journey to sobriety. And you give me an extra push every single day. So I definitely want to come up with a name to call my viewers and my subscribers. So if you have any ideas for a name for you guys, please leave the, uh, the idea in the comment section, which is you guys' section. I may come and leave a comment here and there, but the section is you guys' playground. That is totally for you. Um, also, I wanted to say that we as addicts and recovering addicts, we're humans first, which means that we, we come across many, many struggles and situations in life that may have nothing at all to do with addiction. So, with that being said, I'm not always going to be focused on addiction when I make videos. My inspiration for today's video is we have kids, teens, even adults that are going back to school, people that are starting new jobs. There's a lot of things that are going on and a lot of things that people want to actually do. So I decided, hey, why not come up with a video that tells you the five tips that I take, have taken and are still taking to boost my self-esteem. Everybody needs to have high self-esteem in order to be successful in this life. Also, you know, we're not magicians. You're not a magician. I'm not a magician. So, therefore, it's not going to happen overnight. Sometimes you have to fake it until you make it. When I started, you know, trying to boost my self-esteem, I had to just front. I had to actually take the steps that I'm going to give you guys today, utilize them, execute them, and utilize them until it actually became a part of me. It wasn't something that I just magically read up on or started to do and it just worked for me. No, I had to fake it until I make it. So let's get right into the video of the five tips to help boost your self-esteem. And in case you're wondering why should you why should you boost your self-esteem? Well, you can go a lot further in your personal and your professional life just by boosting your self-esteem. So it's, it's a really good reason to do that. And also, you'll be able to respect yourself more. Other people will respect you. And you'll just be able to achieve more rather than just waste time letting your life go by doing nothing, knowing nothing, achieving nothing. I've done it for so long, and I know some of you guys have done it and are still doing it. So let's get right into the video to find out how we can boost our self-esteem so that we can be more successful in our personal and our professional life. Tip number one, learn to love yourself. I'm going to do a video very, very soon exactly how I was able to learn to love myself. But for now, I wrote down some things, so I'm just going to, you know, touch a little bit on it. Take time to yourself. Spend some time alone learning to get to know yourself. That way you can figure out what it is that you like about yourself, what it is that you don't like about yourself. Um, and you'll be able to basically change the things that you don't like about yourself and You'll be able to understand yourself more and that will help you like the things about you that you don't even know that you like. Such as, you know, activities you didn't know that you liked before, foods you like to eat, um, activities, or I already said that, foods you like to eat, music you might want to listen to. Get to know yourself by spending time alone and that way you'll be able to appreciate yourself a little bit more. Tip number two, take care of yourself. First things first. Make sure that you're taking care of your hygiene. 
when you're taking your showers or your baths daily, you know, you're executing a face routine, when you're lotioning your skin, um, just different things, brushing your teeth uh, regularly, morning and night, you know, things like that will help you just feel good. Like, I just, I feel like I look good. I feel like I smell good. So you're just going to feel good about yourself just by paying attention um, to your hygiene. Make sure that you find the perfect balance between work and sleep. Because when you work really, really hard to achieve the things that you want, you're going to feel good. It's a difference when someone hands you or gives you something versus when you work hard for it. You appreciate it more. You value it more. You take care of it more because you value it more. And you just feel really good about yourself. You don't feel like, well, if it wasn't for someone else, I wouldn't have this or I wouldn't accomplish this. We all need help sometimes in life. But when you work hard, you just feel really, really good. And when you're working hard, you have to make sure that your body is getting rest. People sometimes tend to forget the rest part, which is just as vital to your everyday life as hard work is. Also, along with your hygiene, make sure that you're exercising. Please, please, please make sure that you guys are exercising because you will have more energy to be able to work hard. You will just feel better you know doing things like eating healthy you would just feel better physically not just feel like oh i feel like i smell good or i look good you will feel good physically you will be able to accomplish more throughout the day i always tell people we all have the same 24 hours in our day it's up to us what it is that we do with those 24 hours so just make sure that you're exercising so you can have the the most uh energy so that you can get the most things accomplished in each day and also, take care of your mental health. You can also get tired mentally. Um, another thing is, this goes along with tip number two, learning to love yourself. When you go talk to a counselor or you talk to people that you trust and you love or you t uh, talk to me on my Instagram, instagram.com forward slash coached by Portia, where I'm actually hosting uh, free and flexible sessions so you guys can let it all out confidentially. You don't have to worry about me spreading your business. I always say that because I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm that type of person. I am not like that. I will not share anything. But you need someone like that, whether it be myself or someone you confide in or a counselor. Take care of your mental health. Do what's necessary to tackle things like depression or just find out about yourself that will help you understand yourself a little better instead of just hating yourself. So make sure that you're taking care of your mental health Make sure you're, like I said, exercising, eating good, sleep, work, and taking care of your hygiene. Tip number two, taking care of yourself. Tip number three, just do it. Face your freaking fears, man. When it came to this channel, I anybody that knows me personally, I have always wanted to do a channel. or some, Yeah, I think a YouTube channel, I've talked about it for years and years. Before addiction, during addiction, as soon as I recovered, I was like, I gotta do this. But... The only thing that helped me do it, like actually do it, was to do it. Like I could talk about it for years and years and on and on. But it was up to me to actually just go ahead and turn on the camera and get my first video recorded. That's literally how I got started. Um, if you don't if you don't just go ahead and do things instead of waiting before you proceed, nine times out of ten, you'll never get it done. And also you should make sure that you're challenging yourself. You will never know how much you can do. How far you can go if you don't challenge yourself and step outside of your box. Um, when you stay inside of your box, you limit yourself when you really could be doing other things. And even if you don't succeed, even if you mess up, understand that it's okay and you can try again. You can learn from the situation that you messed up in and you can try again. Or you can figure out that whatever it is that you were trying to do is just not good for you. It's not for you. Not everything is for everyone. So it's good to know those things. Also, make sure that you're not listening to negative people. Keep yourself away from negativity. I don't care if it's uh, your best friend. If that person always has something negative to say, you might want to separate yourself from them. When you have a Debbie Downer in your ear, you will actually start to think within your subconscious that whatever that person is saying about you negative, you'll actually start to believe it. Even if you're the most conf confident person in this world, your subconscious actually, you know, it speaks to you based off of the things that you think 
and the things that people say around you. So if you have someone negative around you, please get that person out of your circle. Make sure that you're changing yourself and you're not being, um, you know, negative to yourself. Also, make sure that you prepare yourself. When you prepare yourself, you have an opportunity to go into a situation and just know, I got this. I did what was necessary to do this. Um, when, when it comes to this channel, I sit back and I do studies. I do studies within myself. I use Google. Um, and I write down everything that is based on my topic. I um, put it in categories. I do things like that to prepare myself for the channel so that when I get in front of the camera, I feel a lot more confident. And I just feel like, you know what? I can do this. You know, I can step outside of the box. I can face my fear because I actually prepare myself for this. One thing that I have to do coming up soon is anybody that knows me personally and those of you that don't, now you're going to know, I have an extreme fear of driving. So that's something that I want to tackle because I'm, I'm sick of limiting myself. I'm sick of, you know, having low self-esteem and just feeling like I can't do, I can't do, I can't do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to take the test, but I'm going to study the book. Even though people say it's common sense, no, I'm going to go into that situation prepared so that I can have a positive mindset and feel like I'm going to achieve whatever goal, you know, such as, you know, taking the driving test. Whatever that is that I'm trying to do, I will feel, you know, like I got it before I even walk through the door because I prepare myself. So that's just an example. Also, don't give up on yourself. Don't accept failure. There to me is nine times out of ten, always a solution to a problem. Just like the issues that I've been having with my channel. Instead of getting all down in the dumps, even though, you know, there were times that I did, I get a little frustrated, I'm human, you know, um, but I would always change that mindset and I would say, you know what, whatever is going on, there has to be some type of a solution. Usually there is. So you should never get down on yourself. You should never feel like, you know what, I have to give up. I have to accept this failure because like I said, nine times out of 10, there's always, always, always a solution to whatever problem you're facing. Tip number four, don't be so hard on yourself. This goes hand in hand with facing your fears. You have to be comp compassion, compassionate to yourself. You have to be kind to yourself. Um, it's okay. Just like I messed up, you know, talking just now. Everyone messes up. You know, that's just a human trait. We're all human. No matter the race, the age, I have so many people that come and watch this channel from all over. And the one thing that we all have in common is we're all human. And as humans, we make mistakes. There's not one single person on this earth that is a perfect person. So, you know, it's okay to mess up. Make sure that you're being kind to yourself. Because, again, your subconscious, you know, reflects off of how you feel to yourself. Dust yourself off and try again. There's a song by Aaliyah. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. I love that song. But now that I think about it, now that I'm older, Sis was actually dropping gems. She was saying something that was very important in life. You cannot give up on yourself. If you don't succeed the first time, dust yourself off, pick yourself up, and try again. Make sure that you're staying away, again, from negative thoughts, from negative people. And that's going to help you with tip number four, not being so hard on yourself. Tip number five, I'm not cocky. I'm just confident. There's a lot of things that you can do to boost yourself and make yourself feel confident. One, being prepared, like I stated before. When you're prepared, you just, you already have a reassurance about something. You just feel like, you know what, there's no way that I can fail. And even if I do fail, I can try again. You know, so once you, you know, you you don't feel like I failed because I did nothing at all to uh, make sure that I don't fail. Also, when you're a cocky person, no one likes a cocky person. When you're a cocky person, you feel like, I don't have to study. Um, I don't I don't have to prepare myself and then nine times out of ten you go out into the situation that's in front of you and you do fail because you just feel like you already got it like that you don't have to do anything that's how you fail being a cocky person but when you're confident you actually take the steps to be prepared for whatever situation even if that means creating lists 
like I did for this uh, particular video and other videos before and more to come, create some lists. Um, one thing I'm going to be working on very soon is a vision board. I saw a lot of YouTubers talking about vision boards where they're going to take different pictures from magazines, print different pictures, print quotes, and put it into like a collage on a canvas or a poster board, something like that, of their goals, things that are surrounded around the topic of their goals, and put it in a spot that they can always see it every single day, very, very often, so that they can keep their mind on their goals and actually do what's necessary to reach their goals. That's another example that's very similar to having a list in front of you. You know, just making sure that you can feel confident because you're actually doing these things. You're actually going out here trying to achieve your goals. Another thing is keeping a good image. When your makeup, women, when your makeup is done, don't you feel good about yourself? When your hair is flat, you know, mine needs to be redone. But hey, it's okay. Um, but when you when you have your hair done, you feel real good about yourself. When your clothes are on nice and you have a nice little fit put together. Fellas, when you get a fresh haircut or if you're brushing the heck out of your hair and you got all these waves going. Um, if you have naturally curly hair. When your hair and your outer appearance, your clothes, your makeup, when all of that is intact, you naturally feel good about yourself. yourself. Studies even show that when a person takes care of their image or has a good image, they naturally feel good about themselves. I want us all, especially us ladies, to remember that sometimes less is more. I know that I used to wear lots of colors with my hair. I see a lot of people doing it now, but that's like a thing of the past for me. Um... But, you know, history always repeats itself, so whatever. But, you know, if you have, like, colorful, colorful hair, you know, try to do, like, a more solid outfit, you know, that isn't too colorful. Sometimes less is more. You can dress it up by accessorizing. That goes for male and um, female. Wear a watch or a necklace. You know, it just makes you feel, you know, more classy, make you feel like you just, you just, you're a million bucks. Even if, you know, you have a very inexpensive outfit on. So that's different ways that you can keep up a good image. Um, also, if you know you have something to do, like a job interview, for instance, make sure that you're trying on your outfit or you have your outfit picked out the, the night before. That way, you can tackle whatever malfunctions are ahead of you, whatever insecurities are ahead of you, um, or if you feel like, I need to change the fit altogether. Do that ahead of time. You should never wait till the last minute because you're going to end up going in there with the malfunction, with the insecurity. You're not going to feel your best, and you're uh, obviously going to walk into the situation not feeling your most confident self. Also, change your body language. Let me tell you something. When you walk into a room with good posture, with eye contact, with a smile on your face, everybody in front of you already knows like, hey, I need to I need to listen to her. I need to listen to him. I need to pay attention because this person already is assured of themselves. Maybe I need to take a look at them. You have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Like that that's been said a lot and it's kind of cliché, but it's the truth. Nobody's going to believe in you, sis. Nobody's going to believe in you, bro, if you don't believe in yourself. So you walk into a situation. You're not looking down, you know, staring at someone's shoes or something like that. No, you walk in with your head high, you know, always keep a smile on your face and just make sure you're making eye contact. That eye contact will help you in a lot of situations. It lets the person in front of you know, you know what, I have to take this person seriously. Eye contact is like, it's very similar to magic. I'm telling you, you will be surprised at the effect that eye contact have on a person. So that's uh, my five tips that I have to give you guys to help boost your self-esteem. Like I said, you guys going back to school, starting a new job, wanting to get over addiction, you know, different things that you really want to have your self-esteem boosted. So I'm really, really glad that you guys tuned in today. If I was very beneficial to you or a little beneficial to you, like the video. Make sure that you're leaving me comments. I love feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Tell me what you liked about the video. Tell me what you didn't like about the video. Give me Whatever it is that you want me to know, topics you may want me to cover, leave it right there in your playground, your comment section, and I love. I will be sure to reply. I will be sure to execute whatever it is that you guys need from me in my videos to come. 
And also, you guys, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Once you subscribe and you hit the notification bell, you'll be able to get a notification whenever I post a video. And because I now have my stuff up and running the way it should be, I'm going to drop and drop and drop just for a little while because I've been gone. I haven't been posting as much content as I should. So... It would be a really good idea to go ahead and subscribe and click the bell and make sure that you guys share this video all over the place. I know a lot of people can relate to not having uh, self-esteem or high self-esteem. My mother, my mother is excellent for that. Um, but, you know, make sure that you share the link to your social site so that everybody can get a chance to check out my five tips to boosting your self-esteem. And remember, you guys, I'm on a journey, y'all. You can be, too. So let's freaking get started.